Nobody is in heaven now with God because they, they died before their time. They are in the hand. Everybody that is in the grave is in the hand of what killed them. That is why Jesus refused to stay in the grave because Jesus did not want to stay in the hand of those that killed him. Why he ran back to his kingdom? Now, Jesus, if Jesus is still in the grave, Satan would have been tormenting him. But I'm here to say you that there is nobody in heaven with God. If there is the, the last day has not come to the earth. It's after judgment that those that died will rise and go to heaven. Everything that dies in the hand of what kingdom. Now let me shock you. Jesus came to the earth to destroy. Jesus is not happy with the grave. That is why he submitted the set to the will of death so that he can destroy that power of death and the house that that power is using in keeping them. That was why when he went to the grave, do you know what he did? He drove out all the saints that were in the grave. He told them, you people are living in the house of Satan and you are comfortable. He met all the apostles. He met all the just men. He met all the saints in chain. He told them, do you know that where you are, you are under torment? How can a saint be in the grave and is comfortable? The Bible said in the book of Matthew, Jesus went there drove out all the saints that are in the grave, sent them back to the earth, asked them to disappear back. Don't send the grave. Any of all those that died before their time, they are not at peace. If you die at the age of 65, 40, your spirit can rest. You will be in torment. And, be running. and Jesus cried out with a loud voice. Yes. And yielded up his spirit. Yes. Then behold, yes. the veil of the temple was torn in two. Yes. From top to bottom. Yes. And the earth quake. Yes. And the rocks were split. Yes. And the graves were opened. Now look at it. Immediately he gave up the ghost. He succeeded in bringing out the scent that thought that grave is a holy place, a home of God. He brought the awareness and consciousness to them that they are in captivity. They are in darkness. Can, 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 when did God become darkened? God is light. Anywhere you see darkness is the home of Satan. Anywhere light cannot penetrate is where Satan dwells. That is why light doesn't decide grave. Satan will never allow light. That is why they will keep on putting sand, putting sand until, until there will be no reflection of, any, of light anymore. Then, then the grave we are open. Many, many bodies of the saints who has fallen asleep. We are, we are what? We are Did you hear it? That many bodies of the saints that were in the grave, Jesus forced them out. He went to the grave. Revelation 1 18 to destroy the power of the grave. I am he who lives. And I was dead. And behold, I am alive for my forever for more. Amen. He said, Now I have the key of grave. Hedge mean grave. Hedge mean what? Grave. He said, I have the key of grave and death. He's saying in another word, he said, I have destroyed graves as I've also destroyed the power of death, child of God, anything, anything of people, the anything that killed men on earth, we also provided their burial place for them, grave. Grave is a household of the enemy that he provides to keep people that he key because God does not have a place to keep people that the enemy key before their time. 